Hello and welcome to Someca's Bill of Materials template. This tool prepares you the bills of materials of the components you have which are formed from your raw materials. Start with the settings section. If you have different units, you may edit or add into this section. Then define your currency. Once you're done, go to raw materials to input all of your raw materials in this section. Enter the SKU code, the component, the raw material, unit and price, such as Then choose the unit from the drop-down list and enter unit price. Once you input all of your raw materials, go to components section to form a product that you would like to create its bill of material. Then go on with the components it needs. Once you do that, the conditional formatting for this row will be automatically colored and this will be the beginning of a new product. Enter the component amount. The bill of material level is actually indicated to point out the raw materials for bill of materials tree. You will be able to see the ID number that you give in this section in here. Once you enter your new component in this section, enter the raw materials that you need to form for this component. So let's assume that I need new raw material one and new raw material two. And I need one and two of these. Let's assume that to be able to create this new product, we need also a second component. Once you create your new products like this, the template will know that to be able to create a new product, the two component is necessary and to be able to create these, it needs to create these in these quantities. For a dynamic component search, you can just click on these filters to get a different display. You can also apply this to your product list as well. On the top right section, you will see the number of products created. Once you're done entering your products and components, now you can create your bill of materials summary. Choose the material from the drop down list. Once you select your components, their quantity and the total values will be shown accordingly. If you have many more components, you can just click on the plus sign to get additional rows. If you also do need more additional raw materials, you can select it from the drop down list and then also enter the quantity. And lastly, if you do have any other bills, optional or other expenses, you can just simply enter them. And once you do that, the total number for this product will be calculated automatically. You can also check the bill of materials tree to see visually how the material is formed. Choose your product from the drop down list. And once you do that, you will be able to see the components and also the raw materials that you need to form this 
component. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net.